Oh, hey guys, welcome to my soul apartment. Take a seat with me. Today, we're talking all about what is content marketing. So we're talking about why is it important, how can you use it to grow your brand, and a lot more. All you gotta do if you wanna know is keep on watching. All right guys, so we're heading out into the city. It's currently 2.50 p.m. Um, we're gonna get some lunch, and before we do, I wanna quickly say thank you to everyone who's honestly shown any support. No! I want to say thank you to anyone who's shown massive support over the last few videos. It means the world to me. I think we reached 150,000 subscribers. So let's go get some food. I'm kind of hungry. Let's go get this bread. Okay, um, so the first tip I want to give you guys in regards to what is content marketing is just to understand why it's important. Before I talk about my tips and tricks, I want to explain to you why content marketing is so important, okay? And it's so simple. If you're tired of placing ads or trying to get people to come to you or outreaching all the time, content marketing is like the only way to really, you know, get people to come and notice your product without giving ads. I think we're so tired of, you know, placing shit to get people to care. That's why it's so important. Today we're talking about how you can grow your brand without paying for ads, shout outs, and people come to you. So I think content marketing is basically when you make videos and images that promote your brand, that give value and don't sell. So if you're thinking about YouTube, Instagram, that's exactly what we're going to talk about. And uh, I think right now we're actually going to this place called Pig in the Garden. And in Korea, basically, there's a lot of there's a lot of good food, but I'm obsessed with salad. So when I found a Panera bread in Korea, I was so stoked. So I'm gonna answer some B-roll and went to edit something cool with uh, a little bit of a Korean montage. <laughs> What is it that exciting? Yeah, so excited. Okay, so we got salmon filet with vegetables and corn and goodness. And are you excited to get this first reveal of this taste test? Are you ready, guys? Taste test. It's so good. You guys, I just got a text from Ashley. If you don't know Ashley, she's someone that I was mentoring on a giveaway and I flew her out to meet with me and she just texted me and said she made $500 this month from photography alone. This is her first time making this much money ever and she's charting multiple businesses and she's saying that I've inspired her to do this and I'm just like, I know $500 might not be a lot, but like for someone that is a student that's something that can make on the part-time job i understand and empathize that that's a huge opportunity so i just want to let you know if you're ever like thinking that you can't make a lot of money don't think about thousands like think about you know starting from scratch and like i just feel so happy so in order to create the best content marketing strategy because we all know the goal is to get people to come to us so we don't have to chase them down with ads we have to talk about tofu mofu bofu everyone pop up an image right here so tofu mofu bofu is exactly what i use with all my sales funnels. So what is a funnel, you might ask? A funnel is basically taking awareness from people and converting them into people that will buy your stuff. So if you have views and you want to make money from it, now you're able to with funnels. Open Gangnam Style. Gangnam Style. So basically, I'm figuring out how to buy a train ticket because this is the best way to get around, but I don't know how to buy it. Where do I, oh. Cancellation is complete. Wait, what? Good job. So English, minimum fare, two tickets. Where do I buy it, dude? Wait, uh... Um... So basically, as you said saw earlier, we couldn't use the train ticket system because they don't accept my card. So we had to go to a bank, but there's a super nice Korean worker that was helping us translate everything. So I just want to say, like, for the most part, everyone here has been super nice. Like, yeah. I haven't seen anyone that has been, like, nasty to like Americans, you know, because most people would be like, what the fuck are you doing here? So yeah, shout out to him. Basically, we went to a bank, but they said they can't take our American card. So we had to go to another bank, but we don't know where it is. So with tofu, mofu, bofu, the first acronym stands for top of the funnel, not actual tofu, okay? So top of the funnel for me means how are you getting people value and awareness? Middle of the funnel, mofu, means how are you getting people to engage and keep going with the relationship and keeping the traction. And bottom of the funnel, bofu, means how are you gonna convert the customer to buying a new product? So a lot of us are selling presets or selling merch. You have to build out their tofu, mofu, bofu sequence in order to get people to buy the entire journey. For example, here's a really good scenario if you're a photographer. 
So your top of the funnel is making content about how you edit your presets or how you edit your photos. So the middle of your funnel might be, hey, join my email list and I'll give you free value on how to get your images to be better on Premiere Pro. And then your bottom of the funnel is when you sell them their sequence of, hey, buy this preset, here's a newsletter. Um, and that's how you can really make money out of your, your brand. And it's initially, no, not too many people really think about the tofu mofu tofu sequence. I'm about to get hit by a car. We're at the thing, let's go see if it's open. Why is it so dark in here? Why is it so dark? Wait. What does the sign say? Today's work has been clo closed at 4 p.m. and it's 4.15. Bruh. Bro, we just missed it by 15 minutes. Instead of going to Off-White uh, like we wanted to because we were balling. Just kidding. So this is our new plan. I think we're going to wait till 8 p.m. and just chill out. Um, and then meet Sue, which is a girl we found at a cafe randomly when an old man approached us and she was helping us translate everything. So. We met a stranger, <laughs> we're having dinner with her tonight. Um, but between then, I do just want to talk about how you can implement the Tofu Mofu Bofu sequence in your own brand. So let's dive right in. Hey guys, how do I look? So at the market, I basically saw a lot of people wearing these face masks, so I picked one up myself. I'm learning a lot in Korea. First of all, I've learned that you can't really use anything without Korean wand, so remember to get your currency changed real quick. Um, the second thing is Uber doesn't exist here, so if you want to get cool stuff, go to like the Gangnam Square Market where there's a bunch of random shit that you can buy. So I got a face mask because I think they're really fashionable and they clear the air. Going back to what I was saying, content marketing. I mentioned tofu, I mentioned mofu and bofu, Today we're going to focus on the top of the funnel because I know that's what you guys are currently mostly caring about But I'm going to teach you also how to convert people and get people down your funnel So when you're at the bottom of it people are ready to buy your product or whatever you sell So let's talk about the top of the funnel There's only one important rule when making content marketing do not make content that no one is searching for I would say if you're making a vlog or if you're trying to do something that's fun Great, but that's not content marketing content marketing is not promoting your product or putting yourself actually I'm going to Google it. So content marketing involves creation of videos or pictures that do not explicitly promote a brand but intend to stimulate interest in the product. So instead of just doing a product review, you can maybe do a product lookbook so the content's more valuable. So what I'm trying to say is when you're making videos, make it about what people are searching for. Ask yourself, you know, what is my audience typing into Google right now that I could be popping up for them and giving them that piece of video? So a lot of the times I talk a lot about YouTube SEO, but it's really simple, right? Content marketing is making videos that people search for. Now what's most important is to get people from the top of the funnel to the bottom, right? You want to get people to engage before they buy your product. You always, always want to get them a call to action. So after people on the top of the funnel, you know, kind of get overall scheme of things, then you want to convert them into the middle of the funnel by giving them something called a lead magnet. So why do you want to make a lead magnet? What a lead magnet is, is like in a relationship, before you say, hey, you want to marry me, you want to buy my product, you can say, let's go on smaller dates. These smaller dates really help improve the interaction. So if you really think about it, when you interact with someone over and over and over again, what do you do? If someone at Panera Bread opens your door every single time you come, at the end of the day, maybe three weeks go by and you're like, hey, what's your name, right? You ask, hey, how can I help you? You've been so kind to me. This is what happened actually in Korea. Everyone here is so sweet and I want to reciprocate it back. We actually had Wen, um, you know, got someone got a cake for Wen at a coffee shop yesterday and Wen passed it on to another girl. I think something about reciprocation is so important in content marketing. You need to be able to give value, give a lead magnet, give a little like free ebook or a free guide or a free trial and then I know you won't make money now but that interaction will help improve the buying purchases when people later want to buy a product so here's a recap top of the funnel is all about making content that people are searching for you can do that by maybe going to googletrends.com and literally typing in a keyword like for example, if, if you make a video about vegan ice cream, you type in vegan ice cream and it gives you seven different ways people are currently typing that word. So now you know what to use in your title. Now you know what to use in your blog post. Now you know what your content should be on Instagram. So you basically type in two keywords that you maybe think people want to search for and it actually gives you the results of how many people are searching for it and what are the words that people are using around it. Maybe vegan ice cream that's banana flavored is more popular than just vegan ice cream. Do you see how being more specific in regards to what people are searching for helps you gain search rankings when you're when people are typing for it. 
The second thing is middle of the funnel. Make sure you get people from the top to the middle by saying a call to action. Give a free sample, a trial, maybe give them a little gift, uh, sign up for my newsletter. It's really helpful if you just come up with creative ways to get people to engage after watching a video. And lastly, close them by doing this repetitively over and over again. Sometimes you have to do tofu, mofu, back and forth until you get them in the bottom of your funnel where you can give them your product. So that is the key to content marketing. I want you guys to take a look at tofu, mofu, bofu and apply it to your business. If you want more help and maybe get my expertise on how to apply this for your company, I will have a few links below to work with me as X8 Media, which is my company, um, is expanding and looking for more clients. So with that being said, I do host Facebook monthly webinars. If you want to learn more, I'll also put down below. It's all about how to apply all these tips to your company. Go check it out if that ever interests you or if your boss at the company you work at might be intrigued by it. I'd highly recommend to expand your social media presence so you can close more sales and get that coin sis all right guys i hope you enjoyed today's video give this video a like subscribe actually you should have asked you should have liked this video already but i'll give you another chance um and go comment so shout out to the comment winner shout out to the comment winner comment on this post to be featured in the next episode shout out to the comment winner comment on this post to be in the next episode all right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I love you. I hope you enjoyed the Korea vlog. I know we didn't really uh, do much. It, sadly, we were stuck in Gangnam, but I wasn't even complaining. It was pretty lit, right? Mm -hmm. um, if you want to see more, go to my vlog channel. I'll probably show you guys the haul. I got a face mask and much more. And if you want to see the stuff I got, maybe Wen and I can do like a challenge. If you want to see more, just go check out my vlog channel below. It's Jade's Vlogs and shit. All right, I'll see you guys later. I love you so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Good bye.